Hi, so today's review is going to be about uh, this one over here, the Gilles Verne Seven Novels. Personally, it's the spine which sold me on the entire range of the uh, Barnes & Noble's leather-bound collections. Uh, w when I saw that particular spine, I thought, right, I, I, need, to, I need to have these books. <laughs> um, it's, it's really, really beautiful. It's in, uh, it's in keeping with the um, previous editions of uh, the Jules Verne books, um, one of which I've, I've actually got, and I'm going to put, be comparing this edition against uh, one of those older editions in a moment, but um, that'll be a bit closer towards the end of the video for the moment. Yeah, just that spine is sumptuous. It's uh, it's gold, so it reflects the light um, and black and, of course, the red of the leather and just superb. Um, take it out. I'll show you the front. Um, so this is actually the... Um, the edition that I'll be comparing it to is a French edition uh, that I got in back in 1991. Uh, it's a really um, well-loved edition, but it's this is just 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea in two volumes. And you see they're, they're pretty thick volumes, about 240 pages each, um, versus this, which includes uh, 200, um, 20,000 Leagues even Under the Sea. Um, but uh, but that's just one of the seven books that are inside here. Five Weeks in a Balloon, Journey to the Centre of the Earth, From the Earth to the Moon, Round the Moon, 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea, Around the World in 80 Days, and The Mysterious Island are the books that made it to this edition. I'll come back to these in a moment. Just for now, let's have a closer look at this front cover. Here we are. And starting from the top, there's this really nice sun and moon Um motif there and going down get a really uh, a nice sense of uh, turn of the century um, call to adventure um, there's the infamous squid from 20,000 leagues under the sea very very beautiful uh, to give you an idea it's it's slightly embossed but barely i think the embossing that's happened is really just uh just the the um uh, that the paint when it's been stamped down onto the onto the book has uh, slightly changed the um the texture of the leather but it's it's generally um yeah it's 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 quite smooth okay as opposed to to many of the editions uh well, maybe the stars might be little tiny bit embossed but yeah it's uh, it's generally quite smooth okay so that's the front uh, and then to the back you have a scene from uh, to the center of the earth voyage to the center of the earth with the mammoth there it's a really nice little detail of the two climbers uh, climbing down on on ropes Really, really lovely texture of the leather, and and yeah, it's um, <laughs> really nice uh, call to adventure again uh, um, uh, motif. Uh, on the edge, it's uh, it's gold gilt, um, very very nice. It tends to because it's such a big book, it tends to sag a little bit, uh, but that's well, is what what to expect really from a. From, from a book this large. Okay, and it's not exactly like it's a big problem. Okay, um, let me show you the, um, the bookmark, which is a bronze color. It's, um, it's, it's, so it's, it's kind of gold, but it's, it's more of a brown gold than, uh, well, some of the, some of the other, uh, Ribbons that uh, that are in some of the other books. I can't remember which one's got a really nice um, creamy yellow gold, but this one's definitely more of a more of a bronze colour, uh, which is you know very very uh, very nice uh, and, um, and certainly certainly goes very well with the um, with the colours of the book. 
Uh, one thing to note is that there are there are no illustrations, and that I would say is the only downfall of this um, of this edition. There, I mean, there's the there's the occasional uh, dr drawing of say uh, a, a um, of here we go like this. I mean, you can't really call that an illustration. <laughs> uh, it's um, uh, yeah, there's just runes that they found, and uh, and it was important for the story itself to actually show those runes. But when you compare it to uh, to this this 1991 edition, I'll just push this aside for a second, uh, so I can show you. Um, I think uh, maybe this the second book. Um, yes, it, pretty much every other page has got uh, these beautiful. Um, Doré style is not Doré, but uh, it's Doré style uh, etchings with those really beautiful um, uh, lines that give you um, that grayscale feeling. Um, let me get to a maybe a slightly more more famous. Um, where are we? Oh, here we go. This this one was. This one's quite a nice one with the with the squid. However, in almost every other respect, uh, other than the <laughs> other than the the illustrations, the Barnes and Nobles copy really blows this uh, this edition away. Um, mainly because, okay, f first of all, the quality of the paper. This is. Um, the the name of this uh, edition is Kate okay, Lagora, but I think there's um oh here we go, Belle Rive is the um the name of this particular edition. Um, it's available still to this day on Amazon.fr. But can you see the texture of that paper? It's like it's almost like reading off planks of wood chip. Uh, it's it's horrible. It feels horrible under under the fingers. Um, it's just that uh, what's printed on there is uh, is 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 very beautiful. All right. Uh, so so yeah. So definitely a better a better edition for uh, in terms of the illustrations. The cover is very beautiful, uh, but it's it's on this plastic. Um, cover it's uh again it feels feels pretty horrible and pretty cheap um but uh but yeah but the illustrations are, are really cool if i if, again if we compare this this balloon uh to the balloon that's on the side of the barnes and noble uh book the barnes and noble one just looks a little bit more stylized a bit more modern and this one over here really feels like a 1900 um <laughs> balloon um uh anyway so that's that's the 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 main difference here um between uh one of the older editions and and this uh, Barnes and Noble so let's get back to the Barnes and Noble edition um on the front page uh well when you open the front page this is uh, the map that you are greeted with it's very beautiful it's um um certainly in keeping with the uh, with the Topics of the book, which are all about adventure and and travel and um, going to exotic places, um, and then you have the oh yeah. So this is the, basically the the only difference here is that it's written Barnes and Noble, New York, as opposed to on the front cover where that's not doesn't feature, but it's almost exactly the same. Um, uh, contents, which I've shown you already and then a brief introduction to um Jules Verne and uh, and the context within which he was writing uh then uh, there we go we just get started straight in with the um 5 weeks in a balloon and each each um each story each book within within this collection has got its own um contents when you start the in terms of the um of the font it's very nice very readable 
a little bit on the small side, um, but uh, but definitely readable um, uh, and comfortably readable. Uh, the the paper itself is um, it's just just on the side of creamy off white, uh, but it's it's very very nice and it feels just so smooth compared to the horrible wood chip over here. Let me show you the 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 edge of this one. There we go. Look at the grain on that. Really is like turning, yeah, as I say, planks of wood at the top. Yeah, that's not aged well. I mean, fair enough, it is a 30-year-old book, but I'm pretty sure that the, gold, the, 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 the gilt edge on this won't look anything like that in 30 years' time. Uh, so there we go. Um, a very, very beautiful edition. Um, just lacking illustrations, really. Um... I'm very, very pleased with it. And of course, as you already know, it looks absolutely beautiful on the shelf. And I'm very grateful. Okay, I uh, hope you liked the review. <laughs> See you soon. Bye.